Hey guys, hello and welcome to our chair workout, which usually doesn't sound like much, but we're going to try and get the heart right up in the chair. You can take it easier if you need to, if there's any injuries, if there's any back injuries. Try and keep your posture as tall as you can, regardless, but if that back does come under any pressure, if it is an issue, or anywhere else for that matter, just take it a little bit easier, take it a little, the modified version when we're exercising. We will be working as quickly as we can throughout the video, so try and keep up as, as best you can. Keep up with my pace, but fall in a little bit behind that wherever you need to be. So, starting off, we are sitting as tall as we can on our chair. We are stepping our foot out and our arms. A little bit of a, a jumping jack to begin with in the chair. So, the arms go out. Just get the arms working to begin with. Keep it comfortable. Not too fast, no forced jerky movements, especially don't force those shoulders back too far. Especially if those shoulders ever have any issues. We can always get them a little bit lower. Lower will be easier when we're working those arms. So get them a little bit higher if you can. Let's step the foot out as well. Step, 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 step. So this is a little bit of a modified jumping jack. One leg, two arms. You can do this on, on your feet if you want and you can still get the benefit of that you don't have to do a full jumping jack. We're going to try and do a full jumping jack in the chair in this position. So both feet go out, both hands go out. And that way we can pick up that pace a little bit more. Again, the hands, watch the way they're a little bit lower. That's easier if you have a shoulder issue. Your back needs to stay comfortable. And again, you're not sitting back against the chair. If you need to at any stage, sit a little bit more forward, do. Okay, nice and tall. Keep your balance. And try and get as much movement, open up the hips. You can go back to one leg at any stage if you want. Nice and tall. So again, we're going to get that heart rate up. Bring the feet back in, punching out in front. Let's go, sit tall, nice and fast at all times. And if there's an issue in the leg, in the hip, whichever, if it doesn't feel right, just go with those arms. One more work in the arms, work the arms. Or maybe those shoulders might need a break, just keep the legs working. Most important, we don't stop working. We keep going. We keep the work rate up. And that way we get that blood pumping, we get that heart rate working. And that's how we work and get our fitness sitting in a chair. Let's get the hands. Punch front, punch side, punch. Let's go. Keep it fast. Again, I'm working fast. And everybody slots into their own speed if you can't keep up with me because there will be lots of different levels working from home so you work with what level you can keep that speed up hands out in front of the shoulders keep them up a little bit let's go a little bit higher a little bit above a little bit out a little bit out a little bit higher and that way we get that heart rate up a little bit more. But remember my point about the shoulders, lower will be easier in the shoulders if there's any issue. Once we start lifting the hands above the head, it's a little bit tougher. Let's go with just the legs, in and out again. So on the toes, step the feet in and out. Upper body is nice and tall. Let's go with arm punching out to the side. One leg, punch, 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 punch. Same arm, same leg, to the side. Keep it fast. And if you can get them both moving, go with that. Stay with one at a time if you have to. So both feet step left and right as the arms are punching in and out to the side. It takes a little bit more coordination. But a lot more work. If we can get our legs working in this position, the legs are going to really get things, get that heart rate up because they're bigger. They take more effort to lift. Keep that speed going. Bringing the arms back in front and back. So touch the toes out or the heels. Keep the heel comfortable. And let's bring in the arms again. Punch, 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 punch. Keep it everything working. So I can start to feel my legs working. Keep your hips comfortable. Legs will get more tired. They take a lot more effort to lift because they're heavier. 
So keep him comfortable, keep that upper body. Let's keep the legs still and then let's go with the arms. Now we're going for fast with the arms. We're slow to begin with, but we're gonna go 10 seconds on as fast as we can, just arms. Three, two, one, let's go. 10, nine, eight, lean forward a little bit if you need to, to get your balance. Five, four, three, two, one, slow it down for just five. We've got four more of those to do. And again, let's try and do it fast. Two, one, let's go. Stretch him out in front. Maybe you can get him a little bit higher. Up, head height, maybe higher. Up above will be tougher. Slow it down. Keep them moving. Three, two, one. Try and get them up above the head. Up above will be tougher. And that way we get our hair rate up, we get our work rate done. And we get a lot more benefit. Slow it down. Two more of those. Keep moving even when we're not working fast. Let's go. Punch it up above the head. Out in front above. Two. One. One more to do. Slow that pace down. Get your little breather and we go again. Faster this time. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Into jumping jacks in one. Open out, keep working. Again, bring those hands right out to the side, bring the elbows back. Lift, lift, lift. Things should be warmed up at this stage, so now we work a little bit more. Lift. Next time the hands go up, keep them up. Hold them there, press them back behind, provided the shoulders allow, and bring the feet faster. Those hips are gonna have to work. You can always do smaller movements out small fast if you limit the, mo the movement that you do in your joints and pick up the speed it can make it a little bit easier tougher on the speed but easier on the joints so if there's any issue that doesn't feel right less movement out to the side with the hips or the shoulders those arms should be feeling a little bit tired in that position rest the legs arms up and down beat the shoulders up and down they're already tired Keep them going. If there's any issue, just drop them in, but get them back up again. Beat. Turn your palms to the ceiling, shoulders comfortable. Try and have those hands back behind a little bit. Keeping everything working. Shoulders are getting tired. Important to have nice, strong shoulders. Keep, keep that back nice and tall as well. Nice, strong shoulders will help you do daily tasks and across the body punch 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 a little bit of a twist now into the upper spine keep get those feet a little bit wider if you need to sit as tall as you can tuck that belly button gently in that will help protect your back remember that keep those arms working so again we put the effort in in the chair and we can get a good workout Keep the joints comfortable at all times. Hands, push one side and the other. V-shape, pull them into the center. Push, 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 push. Come on, keep the pace. Now we can add in the, the legs as well with this one, but keep the back nice and comfortable. So bring the feet together, feet to one side and hands and feet. Again, this is a little bit trickier. If you need to sit forward, do it. Just your position at any stage. So keep the moving. Again, coordination will come into it. Getting the feet going one way and the arms going the other will be tricky. If you can go bigger movements, do, but stay tall. And out in front, touch the heel, touch the heel. Try and get the leg a little bit straighter. Hands on the side of the chair, sit a little bit forward, forward and touch, 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 touch. Any issue with the heel of the foot, you can just go back to touching the toes. If you have any problem, any pain in that area from day to day, then go with the toes instead. Legs are working, you should be able to feel those legs working. Sit the body nice and tall, arms are there for support if you need them. Bring them wide. One out, one in. 
keep it fast. And keep it comfortable on the heels, coming back to what I said about the heels. I've got a nice soft carpet to work on here, and I've got nice comfortable runners. If you're doing it on harder floor, then let's make sure we're not hitting those heels off the ground hard. Just touch, 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 touch. And that's a little bit trickier. Smaller movements if you have that. From there, bring the knees together. Bring the feet together. Squeeze the knees together. Squeeze the hands and get a little bit of twist. Now we're not twisting fast. This isn't speed. This is nice and tall, gentle twist, pushing the hands, squeezing the knees. You can sit forward more if you have to. Sit out on those bones, those sit bones that you use to sit on. So you can sit nice and tall and you can control back comfortable when we're twisting. Twisting is good for the spine, but keep it comfortable on the back. Less movement if you need to. Once more, each side. And from there, get the feet moving in and out again. This time, up, lift, lift. Get the elbows back behind the shoulders. Lift, lift, lift. Lower will be easier. Get them on in front. But we lift high if we can. Higher gets the heart rate working more. Lift, lift, draw the elbows. Draw the elbows back. Sit tall all the time again. If you find yourself slouching, sit a little bit forward if you have to. Take the legs out of it if you have to. Just go with those fast arms. And that's what we're going to do for the next exercise. Across the body with the arms, but we're going for five fast. So it's going to be five sets, 10 seconds on. Let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretch them a little bit more now when we're taking our little bit of a slower movement. Stretch them across. Get that stretch in the outside of the shoulder. Important. And fast. One, two, speed. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretch again. Three more of those to do. You don't even have to have those legs moving to get that heart rate up, to get that body working. As long as we work with a bit of speed, we can. Let's go. Two, three, four, five. Smaller and faster if you have to. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretch them across. Going again, and fast. One, two, three, four, five. Keep that speed. Seven, eight, finish this round. 10, stretch, one more, one more. Keep them working. Those arms are very tired, you just keep working, even if it means push, rest, push, rest. You don't stop completely. And let's go fast for one more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, into jumping jacks again. Let's go, fast, keep the speed up. Let's finish off a little bit faster now. Fast, fast, speed, touch the toes. Doesn't need to be big movements, but if you can, do. Lift a little bit higher, lift, 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 lift. Just work at your own speed, I'm working fast. Again, you fall into whatever level you need to. Again, you can go at one leg, let's do it, one. Stay with that leg. Arms, faster, faster. Bring it in to change legs. Try and step that foot a little bit wider if you can. Both feet, again, keep that pace. That heart rate should be up at this stage if you're working hard enough and that's what we want. We're going to get up out of the chair and we're going to sit back down into squats. So use the chair if you need it. Sit up nice and tall and sit back down. Stand up, sit down. Use the hands if you need to. Lean forward as you come up. Lift. Squatting. But important to be able to get up and down in a chair. Let's keep those legs working.
Again, you can use those hands if you need to. You can lean forward a little bit more if you need to as you come up. We're going to do that for 10 seconds nice and fast. Keep it comfortable. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's keep that going. Slow it down. Slow it down. So again, once we're going fast, doesn't need to be very fast because we want to keep everything nice and comfortable. We're going to keep that back comfortable as you work up and down. Next time we go down, we don't go down the whole way. Sit the butt back. I'm going to spin my chair around so you can see. Let's try and touch the hips as low as they will go. Maybe they can touch the chair, but that's a tough squat. Stay higher, even just halfway down. Hold that squat. Try and go down a little bit more for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Feeling those legs working. 3, 2, 1. Straighten them up and stay up from there. We're using those that chair. Bend the knees. Bring yourself a little bit closer. And keep it comfortable in the shoulders. Bend and push back up. So put a little bit of weight. Push. Make sure this chair is nice and sturdy. Push. You can do this against the counter. Great exercise to do while you're boiling the kettle. You can just do a couple of repetitions on your counter in the kitchen. How low you go depends on your strength. Again, keep that chair nice and steady. You want to put weight on the arms. Bend and push back up. Bend and push back up. Let yourself go onto your toes if you need to. Let your knees come forward if you need to. Push back up. The next time we go down, we hold. How low is up to you. The further you go, the tougher it is. The closer you get down, but remember, you have to come back up again. Don't go too far if you don't know your own strength. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Keep working. 5, Four, three, two, slowly straighten. And one more rep. We're going to bring ourselves down and we're going to bring ourselves back up. It's going to be five seconds to come down. Five second hold and five seconds back up. So on me, one, two, three, four. How low you go depends on your strength. Again, one, holding, two, three, four, five. Slowly back up, four, three, push, two, one, straighten the arms. Let's bring ourselves back down one last time and finish off in the chair. So we're going to go getting our legs out to the side. And in that position, we're bringing our feet, our hands forward and back. Everything working. Get that coordination. It can be a little bit tricky. Feet going out and the hands going front. Let's bring the hands out. Let's speed it up. going to finish off getting those arms working and we're going to work with speed legs if you want to keep them moving you can but I'm going to just concentrate on arms and I'm going to go really fast with the arms so I want you to try and keep it fast yourself so feet are coming back in push fast 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 out to the side 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 Three, two, across the body. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Faster. Two above the body. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. In front again. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Out to the side. Ten, nine. Keep working. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Cross the body. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Nearly there. Six, five. Faster. Four, three, two, one. Above the head. Let's finish off on this, but let's get our feet working as well. It's that ten seconds. We're going for the thirty to finish off. So just tapping the toes, just keeping the legs working. 
arms above that head. Remember, easier option, drop them lower, keep them out in front. 15 more seconds, 14, faster. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, punch. 4, 3, faster, 2, 1, and slow it down. Get your breaths back a little bit, fill the lungs. Let's think about our breathing and the importance of our breathing to get that air back into the body after we use the air while we were moving. Let's get a stretch, arm across the body. Pull the arm across and feel that stretch into the outside of the shoulder. Stretching at the end of exercise like this can help you recover for the next time you exercise. And it can help ease the pressure on the muscle soreness the next day. And don't be worried if you do feel sore the next day. That is all part of exercise. If you're used to exercise, you'll know all about it. But if you're relatively new and you're not used to working a little bit faster, you'll, you'll feel those muscles, the muscles that you worked, change arms. And that's okay. So pulling that arm across. You feel that stretch in the outside of the shoulder. Very good for the rotator cuff muscles, if you've heard of them. If you've had a problem with them, you will have heard of them. A lot of people have. And rest it down. Let's get a little stretch into the neck. So I want you to aim for the upper back. I want you to tuck your chin in, bring your right arm up and catch the back of your head. And I want you to pull it down and gently across. So your chin is going off to one side you're pulling your head gently to that side now it doesn't matter if you get this slightly wrong in terms of in terms of the position of the head you should still get a stretch you're getting it down along the side down along towards the top of that shoulder that's where we feel those knots that tightness that what is called as the upper trap the upper trapezius muscle and where that connects and the levator scapula which sounds fancy, but levator scapula, it elevates your scapula, which is your shoulder blade. So those bones on your upper back, which are important, and change. So tuck your chin, look gently to the side, and then catch. And the other arm, the other arm can be gently hanging. You can push it down for a little bit more of a stretch, but you shouldn't, you probably won't need it in that position. Just make sure your shoulder isn't popping up, it's gently down in that position. And you can tuck that chin in more, you can turn your head a little bit more, and that will adjust the stretch. Find a stretch that's, that's nice, that suits. No pain in that neck. Gentle stretching. And gently relax. Get a little bit of movement into that neck again. All right, guys, all done for today. I hope you enjoyed that chair workout. Again, we can work hard in a chair, same as we can work out of a chair. And you can just take it a little bit easier on the joints and the back. There's not as much strain on the body. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again sometime soon. Thank you. Bye bye.